few years ago, I'm in New York with my brother. We come out of a movie, it's 9.45 at night, and do you know how you feel you should be sensible and go back to your hotel? Would you have such a good time? Let's squeeze in one more movie. Ten minutes before, two blocks down the street, a Claude Van Damme film had just started. Well, you know, with Jean-Claude Van Damme, it doesn't really matter if you missed the beginning. It's not exactly a heavy plot. So as we're running down the street, brother's explaining the storyline to me. I said, brother, don't worry. There are 10 minutes of previews. We won't miss much. We get there 15 minutes after the movie started, or at least the advertised time. I said to the cashier, I know we're late, but we still want to come in two tickets. She said, you can't. I closed the drawer. I said, well, put the money in the drawer tomorrow. No, no, once I close up. Well, I don't know about you, but when I don't like the first answer I get, I talk to someone else. So I went to the guy who's actually taking the tickets. I said, I know we're late. We want to get in. Put the money in the drawer tomorrow. Let us in free. Keep the money yourself. <laughs> he was very honest but not empowered. He called the manager. By now we went through our choices. We'd missed 20 minutes and suddenly we want to see Jean-Claude Van Damme more than our own mother. <laughs> manager says, no, we don't let in people who are late. As I was walking out, I turned around and said, you know, it's very obvious none of you here own this business. Because I always thought the number one key point in business, if people want to give you money, take it. There you had a manager, a ticket taker and a cashier had the opportunity to bring in the business, serve the customer, increase profits. They didn't. See, they weren't working for the movie house. They weren't working for the customer. They were working for a paycheck. 